God damn it, Sean, what the flying cunting fuck have you been smoking this time? Sean filed DMCA's against every one of my videos and was claiming money from the advertisements. Needless to say, I appealed and said, fuck you. Let me start from the beginning. Since I am blocked from making comments on Sean's videos, I made a comment on the Internet Disciple's recent video from Sean. The Internet Disciple mirrors all of Sean's videos. I strongly believe this is one of his many sock accounts. As you can see, the Internet Disciple is making money from the advertisements. Sean would have to give permission for him to do so since the Internet Disciple would have had to file a DMCA for third party matched content. I believe it all began when I basically called Creation Today's work a glorified pile of shite because they had just wasted all of their donations on travel expenses to the Bradford County Courthouse, which is 341 miles away from their headquarters. Their work only amounted to a very bad video where they could not even describe a single thing about the monument to inform and educate their audience. A shit little 10 minute video like that really does demonstrate how worthless their work is. A day later after making these points through a series of comments I found how Sean had filed DMCA notices against my videos where he was claiming ownership over my videos and was making money from the advertisements. As explained earlier, I appealed and explained how this was complete bullshit. A day passes and he pussies out like a bitch. I was a little disappointed though, because I would have been more than happy to have gone to court and witnessed this little parasite experience the full wrath of his consequences. I guess he remembered what happened last time when he made this mistake. But be warned, Sean, if this does happen again, I will make sure it is the end of you. So let's sum up the work Creation Today has completed. They had attended an atheist monument ceremony where the monument was to basically counter the self-righteous crap from idiots like Creation Today. This way, all of the members of the public, no matter what faith or belief, could share the platform. And what did they do? They pretty much summed up all of the reasons the monument was there. It does the equivalent of saying, fuck you. And Sean, I know, did not like that one little bit. He got really pissed when he read the quote from Marilyn Murray O'Hare, where she states how an atheist believes that a hospital should be built instead of a church. She was the founder of the National American Atheist Group. In fact, he didn't read further than an atheist believes to the camera for the Creation Today audience. I think we can make a pretty good link between this and his past because Sean prioritized his own wallet above the lives of children when he was supposedly raising money for them. The atheist group did acknowledge how there is no point for any monuments to be placed on the public lawn, because by prioritizing one group's set of standards, it completely disregards all of the other groups that live in the community. So, in a nutshell, it was there to counter the shite portrayed through the Christian group's monument. And I will give you one guess to think of who also decided to come, and was there doing his tramp dance for attention from David Silverman. Sai asked why David Silverman wouldn't debate him, and yet yeah, David Silverman summed it up pretty well. Ask David Silverman why he will not debate me. I'm going to you right now. I won't debate you because you're not good enough. Strange how creation today didn't include that part into their video, where they were made to look like complete losers. Strange how they only came to speak, but not listen, and expected everyone else to listen to them. What fucking planet are they living on? I would just love to see how the MNCA evaluates their work. 
This organization governs the Creation Today organization, which means how Eric and Sean have to answer to them if they break any policies or terms of agreement. It basically means how they both have to answer to their code of ethics more than their own interpretations of the Bible if they want Creation Today to survive. Otherwise, they will have to pay for fines and be restricted from getting funding from them. So let's take a look at what code of ethics they would have to answer to. After reviewing these standards and comparing them to the work Creation Today has done, I think we can come to the conclusion with how they have failed to acknowledge a single one. I think it's only a matter of time that we will see them fall since we have already seen Eric begging for money back in April. In the video, he asked for 5,000 people to give $10 a month for a year. This would amount to $600,000. The question that would be a barrier for me if I was ever going to consider donating would be why. In the video, he doesn't explain what he would do with the money what projects he would create with Creation Today and what would be the outcomes. I would say give it two years at most and we will see the last of them. Creation Today, you have accomplished nothing.